Thank you so much for joining me. Thank you. Thank you for having us. I wanted to start with you, Giuseppe. Um, why adapt this book into a movie? Why the specific story? What intrigued you? Well, I think it's very pertinent to the times we're living in. You know, talking about power and abuse of power and truth, or better lies, and what it takes to turn a lie into truth. How did you get involved? What intrigued you to the project? Well, I got involved, I think you already cast Elizabeth, right? Mm -hmm. And then I think you were looking for James, and I'm not actually sure, I think it was you and some of the producers that saw another film that I did, Mm -hmm. and you approached me, and I read the script, and I immediately loved it. Um, It seemed like just really something you wanted to just dive into, dig into. Um, I, there are so many really, really cool scenes in this film and, and so many f- fun things to play around with as an actor. And I, and so, so that was, it was very easy just to jump straight in, actually. And I also thought it was fascinating how you kind of went from, th- from the beginning, we were like, oh, this is a really good dude, you know? And then at the end, we're like, well, he, uh, <laughs> he burnt down a place, he, st- he stole stuff, he, he fabricated a painting, and then he, you know, spoiler alert, I guess. Yes. But whatever happens at the end. Yeah, so you're yeah, kind of yeah, like, yeah. wow, this guy really spiraled. <laughs> um, I was wondering how you went from playing a quote-unquote good guy and then mentally derailing as the movie went on. Well, it's really just, in a way, going by the beats. If it's well-written, you don't have to sort of... I mean, I think it's actually... More interesting if he... I don't think he knows at the beginning of the film what's going to happen three days after. I don't think he's like a psychopath or a maniac in that sense. He's not like... It's sort of what happens that drives him where he ends up going. And I think that's far more interesting than sort of saying it all the the way from the... I mean, that you have that sort of curve, that arc in it. Um, And with this script, I did not think that It was not so much down to me sort of having to come up with stuff for this to be real. It's actually, it was actually just really shooting the scenes as they were written because it's, and then when you fit it all together, you get this thing. Mm. So, so, so I, I thought it was really sort of trusting that, that it's actually in the story, it's in the script. And then just actually on the day shooting the scene for what is in the scene and then trusting the editing to do yeah. that, that thing. Yeah, but I feel like the last scene, you know, where you kind of realize, uh oh, mm-hmm. like people are on to me, you're like profusely sweating. You can see the fear in your he's eyes. He's not really well in that scene, is he? <laughs> no, no, he's crumbling. Yes. <laughs> It's and all I, up to I remember I, I said to the makeup people, I think he's not been out, he's not, he's been inside smoking cigarettes for half a year writing the book, so can we make him really pale? Yeah. So they made me quite pale, and I said, this is definitely not pale enough. Let's go for even more. So they put on, they added, I remember they put on grey instead yeah, of, yeah, you yeah. know, your skin, sort of skin coloured something. They put grey all over my face. I was like, yeah. Now we're there. That will do. That will do. Yeah. But it actually works quite well, I think. He looks fucking terrible. Yeah, yes. Yes. <laughs> Just wrecked after all of everything that happened in the past. Well, yeah. <laughs> well, thank you guys so much for coming to talk to me about the movie. It was wonderful. Yeah, and thank congratulations. You. Thank you very Thank you much. for having us.